my name is Cheryl Turnquist. I'm at the Providence Pilates Center, and I'm here to show a few exercises that we can do on the wall. So a lot of my clients ask me for some exercises that they can do as homework to help improve their posture, especially now that a lot of us are at home, working from home on technology all day, and we're finding ourselves sitting and slumped over and head jutting forward a lot. So there's nothing better than finding a wall. All you need is a space of wall without any obstacles that's the width of your body. So I happen to have a nice big wall here. So what you're going to do is stand up against the wall and start right up against the wall with your heels and then take one of your feet, one of your feet lengths away from the wall and then have your other foot meet that foot. So you're one foot distance from the wall with your feet, but your pelvis, your tailbone, your shoulders, and hopefully the back of your head are aiming towards the wall. Now, if we have a significant neck forward pull, that might be challenging for you, but your goal is to try to draw the shoulders and the head against the wall, while at the same time trying to pull the abdominals in and connect as best you can to the wall from your tail to your crown. Your feet can be either heels together, toes slightly apart, if that works for you, or parallel, hip distance apart. So you choose what works better for your feet and your knee, your ankle, your knee, and your hip. So I'm gonna to go to heels together, toes apart. Now you never wanna lock out your knee so it's super straight, so have a soft knee. If you're having a hard time getting your back against the wall, you might have a little bit more of a bend in your knee. So soft knee to slightly more bend would be appropriate. And again, just try to find your bony landmarks lining up against the wall without arching your back, without throwing your ribs out. So knit the ribs together, find your back against the wall, and just take a couple of big breaths as you inhale, feel yourself expand and get wide. And as you exhale, blow all the way out and try to maintain these bony landmarks against the wall. So maybe that's where you're at today, but that might be fine. We're gonna to try to add some movement to this. So try to bring your arms up just to shoulder height. Again, don't lock them out, but keep them soft. Try to draw your shoulders against the wall. Keep your gaze straight ahead as your head aims towards the wall behind you, and then lower your arms towards the wall. I feel my abdominals have to work. I feel my bottom have to work. My legs have to work. Inhale, just bring your arms up. Keep your shoulders plugged in and then exhale down. You can do that three to five times. You can add some arm movement when you're here. Make small circles, not too big, around three to five times, then the other way. And then you can pause and lower them down. You can even make, we call these sparklers, little circles as you come up to that place, shoulder height, and then little circles maybe the other way as you lower back down. You can use one or two pound weights to add some challenge to this. It's definitely not necessary. I find this challenging enough right here and then you can go the other way. All right, so those are arm circles along the wall. One last thing we're gonna try is what we call peeling down. It's like a roll down along the wall. So first things first, relax your arms, nod your head, and start to peel your upper body, but get a lift as you start to peel down the wall, aiming for bone by bone. Your arms will hang right above your knee, your abs are tight, and your pelvis, your sacrum is against the wall. So you're going to circle your arms heavy like a rag doll, and then maybe change the direction. Try to keep your feet nice and flat on the wall, on the floor rather. Pause here and then roll up bone by bone by bone all the way up until you get to the top. Let's just do one more of those. Take a big deep breath in, nod your head. Start to peel your upper body up away from the wall, deepening the abdominals, let the arms hang, and then make circles like a rag doll. And then in the other direction. And then stop the arms and peel all the way up. And one last challenge would be to try to take your arms out further overhead. This can be very challenging, so only go so far as your shoulder will allow. Sometimes you may need to go a little bit wider to aim up against the wall. And then bring your arms slowly down, working some rotation of the shoulder, and do that one more time. Inhale, really find length in your spine, find that posture nice and tall. Exhale all the way from the wall. So, to get away from the wall, you're going to put one foot back along the heel, like a kickstand against the wall, so your toes on the floor, your heels against the wall, and with your hands and that foot, push yourself away, stay tall, and walk away from the wall, nice and tall, and stay that way all day. Enjoy.